Goldilocks. Hey guys, it's me, Goldilocks, and you're watching my channel, Goldilocks Does That Care and Share. So today we are going to be doing a care and share on uh, the Tom Ford face mask. Want to see now? This is the one that your Kevin, your boy. Uh, this is the one that your boy Kevin Samuels always wear. He wears black. Mine's is like I believe this color is called like charcoal, and it's a dope face mask because it has like the uh, Tom Ford I don't know if you'll be able to see it there it is uh, it has a Tom Ford logo there um, it's really nice and flexible it's really nice flexible mask and it has these nice stretchy like bands for the ears It's dope the fit is dope It kind of gives you that same look as uh, like Scorpion <laughs> from Mortal Kombat. Dun, 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 dun. It's dope. And it's like totally a fashion statement. I kind of like it because like right here, it doesn't go like right under your eyes. It kind of stays down here. Uh, so I think it's really dope. I saw Kevin with one and I had to get one. So this one still has uh, the tag in there. I haven't like cut the tag out, but I will cut the tag out. <laughs> um, and like it's time to clean so i just wanted to show you guys like how exactly i mean it's a dope mask but um like i wanted to show you exactly how i clean it uh as you can see i don't have a lot of makeup transfer on there i've worn it oh you can see right here actually see with my lip gloss a little bit of lip gloss there uh but as far as my foundation like um, a lot hasn't come off but i have worn this mask a few times so it's like time to clean it um so first things first so let's get to it um, if you guys want to know how I like keep makeup from transferring to my mask, I use this by IT Cosmetics. Your skin, but better. It's a setting spray. It's dope. It works. If you want to keep your makeup from transferring to your mask, wear a setting spray. First things first. That's the first thing I do to care for my mask is I make sure I use a setting spray so I don't get a lot of transfer. Uh, what I do transfer, we're going to take care of today, okay? So the care tag, so the care tag, I got some lip gloss on it. Ah! <laughs> so the care tag on here doesn't really have a lot of care instructions on here, but this is like a synthetic material it's made out of. Um, so hopefully that means uh, when we do clean it, it shouldn't have any issues with like color transfer or anything like that. So how we're going to clean it, it was going to use a few things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to use is like a stain remover. This is like a baby stain remover for like baby laundry uh, so that it's nice and gentle on the fabric. Then we're gonna use like a light. We're gonna use some wood light on there, dilute it in some warm water. And we also have like a toothbrush so we can get down in there and get what we need, okay? So I'm gonna go and cut out this tag and then we'll get started. All right guys, cut out the tag so let's get to it. So first things first, um, I just want you to see what's kind of in there. May not be able to see real, but there's like a little bit of makeup here, and then I had some like lip gloss down there. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the stain remover, and we're going to gently spray our mask. There we go. And I'm just gonna do the inside since the outside doesn't really have the stains like that. And I'm gonna take a little toothbrush. I'm gonna take the little toothbrush I have and this like get in there work it in there so this like stain remover is meant to be used with like um, detergent so we'll scrub the makeup out first and this is like a soft um, it's soft so I'm gonna go through just clean all this out and like this channel used to be like a different channel. Like it used to be kind of like about cleaning small spaces, but I don't know, I didn't really connect with that content too well. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> um, but I was inspired recently because uh, story time, I have a coworker and he wears like expensive designer clothing every single day right like he wears like Dolce & Gabbana um, Balenciaga Versace like all that kind of stuff you know and it's authentic 
and um, I saw and he like wears it every day and looks like like he just bought it you know and so I saw a picture of his Instagram and like he that, that very day he was wearing an outfit it was like a polo sweatsuit and the Balenciaga shoes right and I go on his Instagram and he literally had the same exact outfit on a year ago and the outfit looked exactly the same that day as it did from the Instagram picture like a year ago and so I was like oh my gosh you know like you know what um it really pays to like take care of your designer things you know or your things period but like you know what uh, I could never ever really reconcile like spending $800 on a pair of shoes it kind of just seemed like outrageous to me uh, which I think that's how much the Balenciagas he's wearing are um, but once I saw that he just like really took the time and like to care for his items and they say pristine like I kind of understood it then you know what I mean like oh man so I anyway it inspired me to create a channel about like how we care for our like nice things <laughs> our clothes and our nice things like that just seems like a, a a dope channel to me especially since you know with the uh, pandemic and the you know economy not doing so great like we should really like focus on and preserve the things that we love and have okay so I did my little staining remover we just let this sit for a few minutes so now I'm gonna take my warm water I'm gonna just put like a tiny bit of little light in there just a tiny tiny bit like I don't know a teaspoon maybe I think that was about a teaspoon I'm gonna mix it all up here so it's very like diluted in there um, so it shouldn't be like too harsh for the fabric at all again like the fabric from the mass is um, synthetic fabric so it should do just fine and oh if I didn't mention before let me mention now that uh, this is a size small it comes in like a small and I don't know if it's a large I got the small because it's the only one available in this color but it fits me perfectly this mask is also dope because it comes with a little bag I don't pop Molly I rock Tom Ford hey yes yes <laughs> it also has a little tag I kept so you know it's authentic this, uh, I believe this mask cost me about like a hundred bucks. So, I mean, I'll probably be wearing it for a while. And it's just dope because it's like a total fashion statement. Like, you know. So anyway, I'm just going to put my mask in my detergent there. And just make sure it's nice and soaked. I'm gonna go through back again and scrub it with my little toothbrush. $90 a pop, folks. We gotta take care of our things so we can stay fly forever. And I just wanna be really gentle because I've never washed this before. So I just wanna make sure, like, washing it doesn't, like, kinda pull up the fabric. So I'm just gonna go and just kind of do like a nice little scrub of the whole inside of the mask. I'm not gonna really scrub the outside of the mask at all, just the inside. Cause that's really where the dirt and stains are and anything that's on the outside is just gonna be taken care of by the fact that I'm soaking it. So that's it, I'm gonna put it back my water and just let it soak a little bit all right cool so I let it soak for a few minutes and I rinsed it I dumped the dirty water out and now he is the clean it's open in the clean water make sure we get all of that detergent out 
I think it's good. I think it's thoroughly soaked. So I soaked it for like five minutes and then I replaced the water with clean water and soaked it. And like my water was like kind of dirty. <laughs> Like, I, it's, I don't think it was dirt, I think it was like just pure like makeup, you know, which a lot didn't transfer over, but what did definitely, yeah, it was time to clean it and get rid of it. <sighs> Alright, dumped out the water, so you can see my beautiful mask is left, it's still really, really wet, so I'm just going to take a towel. Put it in between, the, fold it in between, fold it in between my towel. I don't want to do anything too harsh to it because I don't want to mess up the shape obviously I want to keep it in good shape so again just press firm but gently we want to get as much water out as possible Go. See, we got a lot of water out. It smells absolutely amazing. It's still wet, obviously, so we're not going to put it on, but then from here on out, as you can see, clean, got all that lip gloss out of there, all that makeup. There was a little bit down here, too. It's gone. It looks good. As you can see, the shape is still. Oh, sorry. As you can see, the shape is still preserved, still looks good. And so for the rest, we're just gonna let this air dry and then it'll be good to go. So anyway, guys, that is my review and my uh, care instructions for, or at least how I care for it, for my Tom Ford face mask. It's dope. Your boy Kevin Samuels wears one of these. So if you're trying to be fly like him and me, copy one. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.